Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to install custom Rocksmith songs, kind of song. like this one. Now, before we get started with this tutorial, I do want to mention one thing that you guys have to have. You have to have the Smashing Pumpkins Chariot Rock song downloaded. I don't know why. I don't know if it's something within the coding of the song. As you can see, it's a little bit of an oddball out. It has the Rocksmith and then it has registered mark on it. It's the only song out of all the songs that I have downloaded that had the register mark on it. I'm not sure why that is. And I do want to mention if you guys are having trouble installing this and you're in Steam, as you can see right here, if I go over to my library tab, you'll see that it says not installed right here. If you guys have that issue, just uncheck and check this check mark and restart Steam. It should automatically install it. You'll see it pop up in a second once it updates everything. See, now you can see that it says installed. It is the only DLC that I had this weird glitch with. But like I said, I don't know if it's something within the coding of this that allows you to do custom DLC. And you're more than welcome to follow this tutorial and try it without doing that. If there is another way, I couldn't find it. But I just wanted to let you guys know that key step in the very beginning of this video. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is head over to customforge.com. The link will be the first link down in the description. And we're just going to go ahead and download this CDLC fix. You can download from any one of these. They're all the same file. And they are all virus free, so you shouldn't have any problems with that. Just going to go ahead and download it even though I have it. Keep. It's going to give you a pop-up saying that it might harm your computer just because it's a DLL file. Any kind of DLL file is going to do that. All right, now I'm going to go to my downloads folder, which I already have pulled up right here. Just going to right-click. I'm going to copy this file. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to find my Steam folder. If you didn't install your Steam folder on a different drive, it should just be under Program Files, Steam. Then you want to go to Steam Apps, Common. Scroll down until you find Rocksmith 2014. Go right in here, right click, and I'm just going to paste this. It's asking me to replace the file just because I've already done this before. So I'm just going to click Replace File and Destination. And there you go, that's the patch for the game. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to download the songs. All right, now the best place to get songs is from Custom Forge. You do have to create an account, but it is free. And I definitely find it worth it because they have a huge selection of songs. Say I want some Metallica or something like that. You can see that you have a few options. It's not exactly perfect. Uh, you have Metallica. You have Metallica spelled wrong. You have regular Metallica. It's got 244 songs. So like I said, it's not perfect but a lot of these songs are pretty good and they are pretty accurate you can see over here you have your title your album your tunings who uploaded it the upload date uh, how many downloads it has what parts it has so lead rhythm bass and vocals and what platform it supports if it supports pc or mac and this dd right here is actually dynamic difficulty not all songs will support dynamic difficulty but the better ones will but for the most part, even the ones that don't support dynamic difficulty, they have the full song. It's just basically upgraded to the highest level. So you have to play the song as it's made to be played, which for me, I don't really have a problem with. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down here. Let's go ahead and see what they got. Get a song that I don't already have installed just so that way you guys can see. Let's go. Nothing else matters. I'm just going to click on this and you'll see a pop up come up. And you'll see this was uploaded uh, 2016. It's got lead rhythm, bass, vocals, and it has dynamic difficulty. So that's definitely a winner on that. Like I said, a lot of songs don't have the dynamic difficulty, but it will have the other parts to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click download on that. It's going to open up a Dropbox or wherever the person uploaded the files. Now, I haven't had a problem with viruses on this site, but you can always do a virus scan if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and do a direct download. All right, now that that's done downloading, I'm just going to go ahead and open that up, click show and folder. I'm just going to cut that. You can cut it, copy it, whatever you want. I do already have my Steam folder open up down here. I'm just going to go up here. You want to go to your DLC folder. Now, some people do make separate folders for their custom DLC. You can if you want. For me, I'm not really too worried about it. I just go ahead and drop it in with everything else. As you can see, the ones that are labeled a little weird is the ones that I've already installed. So I'm just going to close out of this and everything should be good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and start up Rocksmith and we're going to see if the song shows up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go into learn a song. And I'm going to change this by mastery. It should pull up it's all the way at the top because obviously I haven't played it yet. So it should be sitting at zero percent. Yep. Nothing else matters. Then when you go into it, it'll ask you to tune up your guitar. Obviously, I don't have my guitar tuned up just because I'm messing around with the computer. 
but everything should work perfectly. You can raise your mastery, uh, complete shifting lesson, accuracy in the song. It'll give you like little achievements and everything like that. And then as you can see down here, it has other arrangement, rhythm and bass. You can go ahead and click on those and we'll change it to the rhythm and bass section. Switching to bass. And then it'll get you to tune your bass. But other than that, you guys should be good to go with songs that you want to install. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. All links will be down in the description. But like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And I will see you guys next time.